Alright, and we are back to more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. And we finally got the Domo Carrier right in front of us. It's time to take this thing down. Now, um, right at the beginning of the, of the battle, uh, it's going to analyze, or maybe not, huh. Usually it analyzes the whatever's in the slot um, section, um, and whatever it analyzes um, is going to increase his power uh, somewhat. Unless it's, uh, it's the blank one or the skill plus one. So try and get it to where uh, that's where he analyzes it. Anyway, first thing you're going to want to do, first of all, you'll notice that Chaos is now in our, our party transmit him into his eggs. Chaos actually does come with an eggs. Um, let's go ahead and attack with Cosmos. I, I always typically use Cosmos in my party. Um, Cosmos and Xion. Ah, see this is bad. He's analyzing the critical. Um, the critical slot and that means he's gonna do a ton of damage every turn ah uh, we'll figure it out so as you can see Shion's already in the end uh, in the red from one attack we're gonna transmit her into her eggs um, and chaos is gonna guard so we can use this W act uh, command in the next turn and Cosmos is going to attack She's the only one to have done so so far in this battle, which is okay. Not a big deal. Um, and again, we're going to guard with Xion. And now we can use the W Act command, which should do a ton of damage to him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So he should go down pretty quickly if you continue that pattern of guard and w act guard w act and then use our cannon with uh, with cosmos new it's tremor oh good all right w act even with the critical he should go down see now at this point i would just attack he's only got a little bit of hp left and just like that he's done Okay, so it can be, it can be a difficult fight if you let it. Um, it might be a good idea to uh, wait. If you end up getting a, a critical or a boost, uh, whenever he does the tremor, if he scans either of those two, you might want to just reset. And if you're at a lower level, and um, see if you can't get one of the other two the blank or the skill so that he doesn't have an advantage in this fight uh, basically whenever that um, symbol shows up in the slot he's gonna do that tremor attack and it's a darn good attack at that we got an anti beam armor very nice it's gonna be an eggs armor unit and I believe this is a cutscene How's it look? We got problems all over. The entire radar system is down. I bet the emitter's completely fried now. The generator output keeps on dropping. I guess we ran the ship into the hyperspace column walls a few times too many, thanks to a certain idiot who flies like a maniac. What? Hey! Who do you think it was that saved us? I wish you'd consider what the navigator has to go through. I'm getting carpal tunnel thanks to you. Why don't you just direct link it? Isn't it obvious? It's way cooler to navigate by hand. Are you stupid or something? Mind your own business. At least I'm more useful than a certain out of control lunatic. Oh, okay now. So you think you're the man, huh? You wanna go? What you got? Bring it on. That's enough! Both of you morons, shut up! I'm sick of listening to your whining! My head hurts enough just thinking about what these repairs are gonna cost. The last thing I need is to babysit the two of you. Uh, we're back. Nov, if 
I had known I'd be doing this, I would have spent more time at the firing range. Hmm? What's going on? Nothing. Good work. So, who are these guys? She's Momo. And this is Ziggy. Looks like they're both with the Federation government. Nice to meet you. You two were the ones in the ship out there? Thank you very much for rescuing us. Thanks for your help. They were being held by the UTIC organization, but they managed to escape. The UTIC organization? Captain. <laughs> Never thought I'd have to hear that cursed name again. What is it? That you whatever. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, stop wasting time and plot our course already. You heard him. It's nothing a stupid navigator needs to worry about. Huh. <sighs> Alan, hurry up and clean up the top of the panel. This stuff's in the way. What? You're the one who left these here. Don't take it out on me. This is for you. Thanks, Cosmos. Alan, wake up already. What's wrong with you? Uh, thanks. Just set it down there. I'm telling you, that was crazy. It was a close one, wasn't it? I gotta say, though, those were some pretty sweet moves out there, old man. Thank you very much. What? Whoa! Hold on a sec, that was you? Well, yes. I handled the flight controls. <sighs> Unbelievable. Shown up by a little girl. Kids these days. That's pretty amazing, <laughs> even for a realian. Hey, that insignia on your uniform. Yes? Is that... Are you from the Mizrahi lab? Yes, I'm a 100... I'm an observational realian. It's okay, you don't have to worry. If you're concerned about government secrets, Cosmos is one too. So, you're a 100 series observational realian from the Mizrahi lab. A Hilbert equipped model, right? Cosmos is equipped with a two, you know. The Hilbert effect. But of course, ours is a Vector original. You're with Vector Industries? Yep. So is Alan hey. over there. Leave me alone. By the way, where are you headed? We might be able to get you there for a small fee if it's not too far out of the way. Right, Captain? Yeah, of course. After all, we are in the transport business. Transport? Then could you please take us to Second Mil... Could you please take us to the Second Milshan star system? Second Milsha? You too? What do you mean, you too? Oh, um, it's just a strange coincidence, that's all. Cosmos's new deployment is on Second Milsha also. Hey, that's great. It'll cost less if you're all going the same way, Xion. Well, I suppose that's true. Captain, what about ship repairs? Yeah, we gotta take care of that first. Let's stop at a nearby dock colony. That all right with you? Of course. Thank you for taking us. Well, relax and enjoy the trip. Hey, Ms. Vector, show them around, would you? What? I got a booger hanging out of my nose, or...? What? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Nothing, nothing. All right, then. Shall we go? Momo? Ziggy? All right, welcome back. Um, so at this point in the game, basically, we're going to be exploring the ship again. But I'm going to do that off screen because we already know what what's going on with the ship and where everything is. There is one little scene I wanted to show you, however, and that's this one. This is the kitchen. Oh, it's Cosmos. I'll help out too. There is no need for additional manpower to complete this task. Oh, um, I'm sorry. 
Hey, Cosmos, that was rude. She was just trying to be nice. Analysis of the current situation shows that I can manage without the help of others. There is no need to divert more personnel to this location. Oi. See, she's so not cute, and she's always like this. <laughs> just, that's just funny. I just enjoy that. Anyway, uh, I will explore the rest of the ship uh, offline, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1.